first three points as Notts County head coach. How are you feeling? Yeah, really happy with that. You know, really happy and, and uh, really pleased with the players. I thought application, attitude and the way in which they worked and performed today was excellent. I thought we were well worth the three points. At first five or ten minutes, they came flying out they the did, traps. Yeah. And you must have been thinking, oh God, here we go. Yeah, I mean, they've got speed and mobility up front and they just came and went really direct first five or ten minutes. And in fairness to them, they almost got a goal. So they started the game really on the front foot. But once it settled down, I felt like we were quite calm. We we, we moved the ball well. I thought we, we used the space in behind and attacked. And... Yeah, I thought we were probably uh, probably the the aggressors. I mean, they won it and put it back on us. But in general, I thought we were we were more in control. It wasn't a game that passed without a little bit of controversy here no. and there. We'll go through it chronologically, if I can remember okay. it all. First yeah. of all, should you have had a penalty? My first instinct was yes. Um, seeing it back, I've only seen it off our camera. And it's really hard to tell. So. My, my, my instinct was yes, but I, I've heard that according to the TV they didn't, they didn't think it was 100%. So. I've watched a bunch of replays and I've also come to the conclusion that I, I don't know. No, um, so it's too hard to say. You know. Um, beyond that, what was the next controversy along the, the timeline? You feel free to prompt me if I can't remember. A bit, I, did, I, I mean, there's a lot of, lot of small fouls. There was a lot of complaining um, on the sideline, not from us. but um, How are you finding that? Is, is that something that is new to yeah, you? Does new. that happen as much in Scandinavia? No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't. It's definitely new. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I just prefer to concentrate on my team and coach my team. I don't get too involved with the officials. Listen, it's not an easy job. It's not an easy job. They're going to make some mistakes. It's, I, I think you have to accept it. You don't like it. But at the same time, they, you know, they need a bit of help as well. And um, so I prefer to concentrate on my own team and, and coach them. Um, but yeah, I mean, Kyle Wootens yeah. is maybe the last one. I've just seen it back for me it's the, the boys hurt you know and we all wish him well there but for me he just goes up in a, in a duel to try and win the header and it's fairly innocuous I don't think there's any malice in it at all um, so that's a bit disappointing Had you thought about taking him off just in case he got yeah. another yellow? Yeah I had but at the same time they were bringing big guys on and Kyle's so valuable for us on defending set pieces so it's a trade off you know um, he's, he's close to the edge but we also needed him for the set pieces so yeah I considered it but you know in the end it, it is what it is. With all that in mind, how much of a loss do you think he'll be for Woking? Yeah, it'll be a loss, but I thought um, I thought Jimmy Knowles did a brilliant, brilliant game for us. Um, and I, I also thought when Lewis Knight came on, he was a real spark in there. So we've got options. So, we, 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 we you know, maybe uh, although we don't want it, it'll be an enforced break and then he'll be fresher for the next game against Hartlepool. Just so. going back to the, the, the chirpiness of, of dugouts, which you so often get in the National League and, and League yeah. Two as well. Do you just carry on being who you are? I, I carry on being who... Do you leave Mo to do... To I let do Mo... It? Yeah, that's why I brought Mo. <laughs> your Mo yeah, Mo can do my talking <laughs> for me. Mo's, uh, Mo's an angry Scotsman, so I've got him perfect. Then I, I can just carry on coaching the team and I'll let Mo deal with that. So, uh, yeah, we've got no worries there. Does he get on particularly well with Jim O'Brien then? Yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm sure. Um, what, what pleased you the most about just the performance? I think it was the way in which we, we mixed the game. I think we were much more dynamic going forwards. I think we kept it when we needed to, um, just to take like the, the tempo out of the game. Um, and, and to be honest, I thought our shape without the ball was excellent. I thought we were disciplined, well organised. So, yeah, and, and of course, at the end, we really had to dig in and fight. And I think that shows good character. You made a, a lot of changes today. Well, I say a lot, four, but yeah. you know, some of the players dropped not just out of the match day 11, but they dropped out of the match day 16 as well. Eli Sam sat up in the stands, Ben Turner as yeah. well. Is that because you're just finding your way about which is the group that is going to be the core group? Yeah, I mean, Ben Ben pulled up with a calf injury yesterday. That's why we, we rested him. But yeah, I mean, you know, I'm learning about the players and I need to give them an opportunity to show what they can do. You know, we're, we're new in here and I think all of them have got something to offer. There's only five on the bench, so sometimes that means we have to rotate and with a lot of games, so be it. Um, but I think we want hungry players that are ready at any moment to step in. And I think that showed, you know, Adam Chickson was excellent today. Um, I think Regan Griffiths, young lad coming from crew, did a, did a great game. You know, he was brave out there to go and get on the ball um, in a tough game. You swapped the formation about a little bit as well and went three at the back. Yeah. The, the thinking behind it. Um, we felt a little bit when we lost the ball, we were open with, when we just had the two centre-backs in there. So we protected a little bit against that. Um, and we, yeah, we felt like we wanted to keep um, the midfield three intact because I, I thought the midfield three looked good together. And then uh, two strikers, I think Kyle needed a little bit of support. So we felt 3-5-2 this game would, would suit us. 
no NEF Young in the squad today. Is, is he still at the club or is, is he going back to Stevenage? Because somebody told me from down at their local radio station that he might be heading back there. Yeah, we're just in talks about whether or not. I mean, every loan has got to benefit both player and club, so we, we, we're in talks about that. But, um, you know, I think if somebody's not going to play and they're coming on loan, then it's maybe best to go back to their parent club. Um, so, yeah, that's more than likely what we'll do with any. Uh, and, and Cal Roberts, how good was it to have him back there today? Uh, brilliant. You know, he came on 15 minutes, and by the way, it's not easy when you've been out for so long, but I thought he stepped in and um, and he, he showed what he's capable of doing. Um, you know, him and Lewis Knight gave us a new energy in the attack when they came on, and, and we needed that because the, the game was just getting stretched, so we needed that kind of quality. Uh, a first three points as Knott's manager, then how does it feel? And do you go back to your your family and have a day with them tomorrow and just kind of take a, a bit of a, a sigh of relief? No, I, I won't enjoy it for too long. Probably I'll drink a beer later <laughs> just to, to celebrate the first three points, but then I'll turn my attention straight to Woking because uh, it's so, you know, we don't have too much time to rest. Um, so tomorrow is just about me preparing for Woking, really.